Check us out and follow us on Instagram at not underscore surprised underscore media. YouTube at not surprised media. And the X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it, at not surprised underscore PC. Now, sit back, put those feet up, and listen to the show. There it is. Hello, everybody. Hello. This is Frank Nasty. And Aggressive Ange. And you are listening to the... What, are we, what the fuck's our name? The <laughs> Not Surprise Podcast Show. Yes! This is us. So... <laughs> Happy Monday. Usually, we start this show at like 8. No, fucking 8. It's uh, 6 uh, or 7. Probably 6 or 7. But, Ange... I, you know, this is a big fucking... And uh, it's my fault. It's a big deal. I'm the problem, it's me. She's enabler. Enabler? <laughs> oh, enabler. Um, I guess I take... I take... I have two, two full cups of shit here. Whose idea was that, though? Not mine, kind of. Beca- no, first of all, you came here with you your ghetto-ass <laughs> fucking... With your <laughs> gas, station gas station fucking... Juice. juice. So, <laughs> it's fucking 10 o'clock... We've been sitting here watching some gay ass podcast shit that you found that of people you know. I'm not gonna say their names. It's incredible. They're um, no, actually, they're not bad. <laughs> what well, I don't fuck. It. You know what? I'm not, no fuck it. I don't know if they're good or not because I didn't listen to their shit. We're gonna Hold listen. On. We're gonna circle back. What are you drinking? Um, your special juice that I found under your Okay, bar. first of all, sometimes you got to think about two seconds before you talk. <laughs> uh, I have some... I got vodka. that special juice, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I got the vodka <laughs> blackberry seltzer. That's what With I got. With the Kirkland? Yes. Kirkland from Costco. You know, Costco is, is good. Um... I forgot what the, the fuck I The problem with say. Costco is their parking lot stresses me out. They're parking lots of pain in the ass. Yeah. No, it's fucking awful. It really is. And I can't stand the pee. You know, they're I gas stations. I also station. can't stand the long line. Oh, I don't do gas there. But I, I can't no. stand the long lines when you go to pay. I like can't you think stand you, it. You think you figured it out. You think you navigated the store. And then you go to get in line and it's instant panic. Yeah. For me, at least. And then you fuck these. Not you. But them. <laughs> they. <clears throat> so you're standing in line, right? So you have all this shit. Can I see your ID? No, I'm holding 18 fucking things in my hand. Yeah. I, I just need to see your Costco card. No, you could fucking wait till I get there. Mm. Oh, they pissed me off. So he goes like this. So I'm standing in line. I have, uh, I don't know, bananas, a protein, fucking a 20-pound bag of protein, and all this bullshit in my hands. Right. And he goes, I need to see your Costco card. I'm like, you're the biggest fucking pain in the ass you're fucking today. He's like, I know I am. And once he said that, once he said that, I was like, "Ah oh, man, I'm sorry. You're right. My bad. You know, it's just your job. Ass. Yep. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. Well, it's like people, and I know why they do it, because I am a another. What do you kind of? What do you call these stores? Superstore. Mm-hmm. Well, whatever. Yeah. So yes. I'm. No. I am. I am a. <laughs> You hear that shit? <laughs> Every fucking time Dig is in the studio, something got to fucking happen. <laughs> so anyway, I steal. No, I don't steal, but I, I, yeah, I steal a membership of another fucking place. Relative. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm still spending money, so who gives a shit? Like I'm still buying your product. Yeah. So why are you mad? Yeah, why are you mad? Membership? Right. <sighs> So anyway, we found this other podcast. I'm not going to say the name. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into it, but it was uh, it was interesting, and yeah. I would like to be on there. I'd like to be on their show. Yeah, I think so. That I'm going to reach fun. out. Um, also, uh, Chris Abels gave us a nice shout out yes. for Levy Land, which is awesome. Hey. Um, they are a great show. Yep, he was. I was listening to their show and I was punching in on the because uh, they have the um, what do you call it? The fucking uh, we type in the fucking uh, the chat, the chat, the, the chat. chat. <laughs> we were chatting with them. Yeah. So 
hopefully we you know I'll talk to them and see if we can be on their show and they could come on our show and we'll figure some shit out. That'll be cool. Can't but it was pretty chat. nice. I liked it. They, they gave us a, a nice little shout out. Because um, I mentioned they were talking about llamas. Yeah. And uh, I have an extensive history and uh, experience with zoo animals. <laughs> you think I'm bullshitting? I was a zoologist. I, I guess I'm not surprised. Yeah. I'm not surprised. I focused more on sheep and and uh, goats and stuff because they have um, vaginas that resemble human vaginas. Human yeah. vaginas. So what I would do is inspect so those. I was a touch yeah. them or I would have to touch it. Yeah, because what I I would have oh. to check out their reproduction, reproductive uh, organs. Organs, yes, and to see how it closely relates to the human female. So in turn, uh, llamas came into play. Okay, but then COVID hit, so I couldn't really do the research on the the llamas. Right. Um, but I do know that when they spit, you know, how they spit and you go pff, pff. right at you. Yeah, yeah. It's semen. Oh. Yes. And how do we know that? Um, well, what you do is you have to take a sample, almost like a DNA you, swab oh, of the interior. Taste, yeah. You you taste taste it. No, you don't taste it. <laughs> God damn it. That's like fucking llama porn. We don't do bestiality <laughs> shit here, dude. We're not I wasn't ta- sure if you so were. Like, <laughs> All right. So do you take a, a straw and you just suck it up? Slurp it. <laughs> Slurp it up. <laughs> and then compare it to a human. Yeah. I don't know. I um, didn't know where you were going with that. No, but you take what they have, what's called the llama DNA swab. So you take that. It's like a, um, almost like a Q-tip for your ear. That's kind of wild. And you have to go on the... Uh, the top of the uh, it's called the surface crown that's what it's called it's right behind the two front um, fangs with that they have <laughs> and you get uh, you have to go past like the saliva so you let them spit then the semen sticks to the top of the the crown yeah of the molars all right anyway so um, but anyway so I was telling them that um, I gave them that fun fact that uh, they, they spit, spit semen and they uh, they gave us a shout out. Hey, I think that they have a great show. I think we have a great show. We could be something there. Yeah. So I, I'm thinking we should show up there. Mm-hmm. Hold on a second, guys. Slurp, slurp. <sighs> it's not llama semen, just so everyone knows. No. <laughs> no. So... Before we started, <clears throat> you were telling me about that uh, Gyllenhaal shit. Oh, The Guilty. Yeah, what's that shit about? So that is a Jake Gyllenhaal movie. I think it's Netflix that we watched it on, and it was so good. So he's a dispatcher. Yeah. He had like gotten in trouble at his uh, prior job. Like he was a cop, he got in trouble, and he is gets put on dispatch, and he's bugging like he's like tweaking out the whole movie but he gets the craziest call is like, he like mental health guy or is he like drugs or just no no he's like he's normal and he's huh. he's great at his job but yeah. like he's in distress clearly from whatever his issue whatever was. he was put on in that spot for for whatever he did i'm not gonna ruin it but mm-hmm. then it's like all these calls are coming in and like how can you not be a little like Oh my God! Like, yeah. what's happening mm-hmm. every every single day of your job? Yeah, every minute of your job. And so he's getting crazy calls, crazy calls, crazy calls. And then one call comes in, and, and he's like invested. Like he's like really, like you could tell. Like these people are in trouble. He's trying to save them. He's really trying to help. Yeah. Like every time, like they had to hang up for whatever the reason. Like, what's the um? What's the name of it? It's called the guilty. The guilty. All right. And then like. You know, the the mom would call back and it, it was like everyone knew, like, put him through, like, put her through, like, what's going on. And he was trying to help save her. Um, and I, I feel bad, like, ruining the movie. But no, it was just a, it was a crazy movie. And I do. Let's I do see. love Jake Gyllenhaal. And I I've never heard of this. And it's movie, two years old already. It says. Yeah. It Let's took, see. We finally watched it a few months ago and I was like, oh, my God, like we were dying to watch it and just time got away from us. But let's. Let's see. We'll play the trailer real quick. It's good. Let's see this shit. Let's see this shit. All right, hold on. Here, playing this motherfucker, man. All right, here we go. This is emergency. 
Emergency operator 625. I've just been robbed. Okay, sir, I need to know where you are. Last name? Is this the fire department? No, ma'am, you've reached 911, but I can connect you to fire. Oh, no. Just hold the I line. Can... What does she look like? She was tall, pink hair, in heels. Hey, man, can you tell me how long it's gonna take? Like, the calls you must get. Dude, I would never be a dispatcher. And then, like, and because they had so much fire going on at that point, like, they were getting calls in regards to the fire, mm -hmm. like, but then, like, other calls on top of that, like, mm -hmm. holy Let shit. Let me see how accurate it is to what I've seen our dispatchers do. Dude, our, I can never do that shit. I went up there once, and there's fucking phone ringing. Everybody's yelling at them. They're nope. fucking going nuts on them. They're telling them to go fuck themselves. I need somebody here now. Yeah, well, well that was happening. Yeah, and they and the dispatchers would say, "Well, I need to know what's going on. I don't know what the fuck is going on." Like, tell me. What's and they happening. wouldn't even fucking. They would just go all crazy, and I'm like, "Fuck you!" And then they would hang up. Now we still got to go. Now the officers have to go, and we don't know what's going on. So right. why? Let me see. Is there someone with you? Uh-huh. Is the person with know you called us? No. Who do they think you called? Your child? Yes, sweetie. Does the person you're with have a weapon? Yes. Dude, this uh -huh. is fucking even worse. I think than being a cop on the road. Right. Like the, this, this. Like this hearing movie that shit. Ooh. Got to me. I was like, oh god. I was. We were at the edge of our seat the whole movie. Dude, dispatchers fucking. They got my respect. I would never do that shit. I would never be able Even to though do sometimes that. you motherfuckers want to send me on a late call, but <laughs> we, we'll handle that another time. <laughs> <clears throat> Back to our program. The color of the car, okay? When I say the right one, say it's fine. Red? White? That's fine. Is it a car? No, man. What? No, just yes or no. Just yes or no answers, Emma. I'm sorry. I have to hang on. Give me the phone right now. Oh, that's fucked up. So he is like super what like. Are we for? Dude, how come I never heard that's of this? Come on. Oh, that's a good one. Man, just talk to your mommy. She's going to be okay. You promise? I promise. You have air support available? Negative. Air support is grounded due to fire weather. Oh, what are all the fire out there in California? Is California mm -hmm. based? Yep. How will you get it? So is he trying to find out with he doesn't know where they are? He doesn't know. He's trying to like track them down and and stop them from whatever they're about to do next. Hmm. What's going on? Because there's like on. there's kids involved. No. Is Henry? Mom. No. What years on? Now listen. I need you to pull the handbrake hard. Oh, so now she's in the car. She's in the car. I thought she was home at first. No. She's in the car the whole time. She's falling from a car. Oh, damn. So she's trying, like... Damn. Yeah. I'm gonna have to watch this shit. It's a good one. <clears throat> Dude, those dispatchers, <clears throat> they they got a lot of fucking shit on their plate. When I they can't. get these calls, so now they got to dispatch. So let's say I'm patrol, you're fire, and she would be info. Yep. Or or patrol two or whatever you want to call it. So everybody's listening in. So now if we hear this, I'm talking to you trying to get information. You're dispatching out or somebody's dispatching out. All right, we need two officers this way. She's saying this or he's saying this and that's where you got to go and blah, blah, blah. But then sometimes you ask him questions and they can't answer the questions. Now you, you're like, all right, well, we're asking if the guy's got a gun or... So let's say they sh she says, okay, I'm being held hostage. Yeah. All right, where are you? I'm in the house. I'm not sure. Okay. What phone? You're on your cell phone? Whatever. I'm just... I don't know what dispatchers ask. And then, uh, you know, let's say she is, so we ping the phone. And we find out it's at 123 Main Street. So now, do you know where you are? No, we don't know. Do you know what floor you're on? No, I don't know. So you got to kind of go in blind and all this other shit. And yep. it's fucking crazy, man. These dispatchers, they got to hear a lot of shit and deal with a lot of shit and ask the right questions at the right time. And if they don't, they could get somebody hurt or it's so much pressure. Yeah. Like the first, Fuck everything goes that. like even the first, if you watch it, the first five, 10 minutes of the movie, I'm like, oh my God, like all the pressure is on them. 
Yeah. I, I can never. Not I, doing it. Nope. I can never be that person. If they were ever like, hey, we have a, a dispatcher position open. Nope. You're out of your fucking mind. Nope. Too much fucking pressure. Or let's just say we have a, a major incident or a critical incident or something. They have to like kind of know where everybody is. We we know unit one and unit two is on Main Street. Yep. Unit three and four are on fucking South Street. You know X, what I mean? Z. Right. And then you got to kind of keep track of where everybody is, who's going in where. Now we got to start making phone calls to the, if there's a hostage situation, uh, you need the, the, the landowner to see if there's certain keys we could get in there or how the layout is and all this other, uh, fuck that. Nope. Nope. I'd rather fucking. Nope. It's too much work. It's no fucking way. crazy. It's super wild. That was like the, the call I went to. So, remember I was telling you about the axe guy? Yes. So, <clears throat> we are, I have a, so I'm, I'm driving past this certain Dunkin' Donuts. I'll say Dunkin' Donuts, why not? This happened years ago, so it's fine. So then, I'm driving past this thing, and the call comes out, and dispatch is like, uh, we have a call, but we're not sure what's going on. We hear a glass break in, blah, blah, blah. And a man with an axe. So we're like, oh, shit. So I look to my left, and I see a fucking guy with an axe breaking glass. Holy I'm shit. like, well, there he goes. Holy shit. Holy shit. So then I'm, re- I'm calling out shit. I'm like, well, I found him here. He's at such and such. It's a Dunkin' Donuts type place, you know. And uh, I can't guy's- believe we were right there. Yeah. The guy's breaking glass, right? So now I pull up and the fucking dude turns around and he's facing me with a fucking axe. I'm like, you motherfucker. Nope. I'm thinking to myself, I didn't say that, but I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> fucker. I just wanted to guy. go get a fucking hot dog at that place. <laughs> I just wanted to go across the street. For yeah. A hot dog. I just want to fucking go get a fucking chicken nugget or do something. Right. I'm yep. fucking starving. So I look and so now I'm facing the guy. So I'm like, ah, gun time. You know, here we go. Because somebody's coming at you with a fucking axe. I'm not going to pull out a taser. No. What if the taser don't work? Like that video we saw. The right. fucking taser didn't work, did it? And the no. guy had a knife. So I do that. I, and the guy turns around. He's got the axe. Pull the gun out. Tell him to stop, 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 stop. And he's kind of work, walking slow. He was an older guy. He's walking slow. So I was he like, was I older? got. So back then, back then he was probably in his 60s. So we'll oh, say wow. that. Was, yeah. So I was. What is he doing with an axe? I don't even Dunkin know how Donuts. many years I had on. But anyway, it was like oh, way over ten years ago. It's so wild. <clears throat> I don't even know if the guy's still alive. He might have died of old age or something. Probably. So then, um, so then he, like I said, he turns around. He's starting to walk towards me a little bit, right? And I'm telling him to drop it. I'm like, stop, 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 stop. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot. Stop, stop. Stop it. So then. He's walking a little bit. Then he kind of stops. He's like, kill me, kill me. And he's got the axe, like the left, you know, let's say the left hand at the bottom of the axe. Right. Right hand close to the top like he's going to swing it. He's ready. Yep. So then, um, so I'm telling him to stop, telling him to stop, waiting for more units, trying to pause, you know, trying to slow everything down a little bit. Yeah. So I have to shoot this motherfucker. Right. So then uh, the craziest thing was, like other units showed up. And they came up. The craziest thing was, as he's walking towards me, and I don't know if this is a psychological thing that the psychologist or whoever the fuck handles that shit could tell me about or somebody that deals with high-stress situations could tell me if this is a real thing. Obviously, it's a real thing. But so as he's walking towards me, I saw on the ground, on the the, the, The cement, on the cement, I saw <clears throat> like somebody spray painted a white line. I swear to God, I saw this like I'm looking at you. Oh, that's crazy. I saw that and I said, if he goes past this fucking line, he's done. This it's is, over because I can't back up anymore. I'm I'm fucking done, you know? Yep. So I couldn't back up anymore. And then uh then I saw I saw the slide of the the gun. Sliding back like it, like it was fired. It's coming. And then casings coming out of the uh, ejection port. Yep. I saw like three or four come out and went bing, bing, bing. I saw all this shit happen. 
and I'm kind of like looking at him watching this go down. Right. And then, thank God, somebody came up, ended up tasing him, and one of the tasers hit him in the fucking, like, just below the eye. Oof. And then one hit him in, hit the axe or something. And then when he kind of turned, just like, he was still walking towards it. I was like, oh, shit, this shit ain't working. He's still coming. <laughs> yep, he's I was like, coming. this dude's going to get lit up. Yep. And then his wrist hit it, and then he went down. Jesus Christ. Dude. But I saw, I wonder if it was, like, my brain... It mentally gave you like preparing a, a point. Me, it gave you like a line that okay, he crosses that line, I could yeah do what I have to do. And don't be shocked no. when the slide comes back, the casings come out, like getting you ready for what's gonna happen. Mentally prepared, dude, it's fucking crazy. And I had that first on the uh, on the clock itself. I had the first safety kind of pulled back. There's a safety on the trigger. Yep, and. Just pull him back on the trigger right before it and click. And once it does that shit, see ya. <laughs> yeah, it. I remember that shit. CNR. I was like, dude, somebody better taste this motherfucker. Right. Yeah. But then Holy you know shit. what else? You know what else? Um, what else I felt too afterwards? <clears throat> I was like, damn man, why didn't I why didn't I shoot him? Does that mean um I can't do the job or something like that? That's because you're new. You don't you're know going, better. It's going through your head, yeah. Yeah, you don't know better. The people think I'm a bitch or something. You know no. what I mean? No. And this is like back in the day. Just like but your then, own little paranoia. Yeah, you kind of like. You're getting just in your head, yeah. Yeah. So, but then you sit and you think you realize. Well, now I know why I didn't shoot him because I didn't feel the need to right yes. there. It's a fight or flight. Yeah. I didn't feel the need to. The dude was fucking slow as shit. Yeah. All right, he had an axe, so I could have just kept going backwards. Right. And then, you know, people were like, oh, man, I don't know why you didn't shoot him. Like, not cops, but other people. Right. I would have shot that fucking dude. I'm like, eh, well, you weren't there. Yeah, you weren't there, and it, you had could a- Could I have done it? Sure. Yeah. Would I have been cleared? Sure. But then it's like. You would have did it because you wanted to, not because you needed to. And that's fucking crazy. Yeah, because you knew that you didn't deep I didn't down. Need and to. in that moment, you weren't threatened enough to have no. to do that. Maybe a couple seconds later, I might have. Uh, I might have felt right. the need. But in He's those charging last, at you. Yeah. Go for it. But, but in those last seconds, I didn't feel the need. And then once he, but once he got tased in the face, <laughs> then, <laughs> and once he I, dropped, I was like, oh, okay. that feels a lot better. Well, he's fine. He's yeah. gonna, He's going to rest now. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, cops want to shoot people. They want to do this. No, let me tell you something. This is actually proof that that's not true. It's not true. I don't want to fucking shoot anybody. All right. No. It's not the fucking movies. That's an expensive bullet. Right. Do you know why? I don't do a lot of road jobs in overtime, but there's a lot of people that do. So when you shoot somebody, you can't do your overtime. You can't do anything. The guys I work with don't want to fucking shoot anybody. They want to work road jobs. (laughs) <laughs> you so what, see do what they, I'm saying? Do they take you off of that? Yeah. Yeah, you're on uh, administrative leave or, or you're in, in-house or whatever you're doing. Yeah, you're off the road. Oh, that's great. So they call it an expensive bullet. They would rather not fucking do I'd it. I'd rather not do that so and, I could do my And do their fucking jobs, overtime so they could buy the big TV and buy their boats. Right. They don't want to fucking shoot anybody. No. I haven't met anybody that's like, I just want to shoot somebody. No. I'm serious, I swear to God. Because that means you're probably a psychopath. You're fucking weird. Oh, I yeah. would fucking... I'd be like, oh, yeah, you know what? You should probably go inside and quit. You <laughs> you're fucking probably in the wrong Yeah, you're probably fucking whacked field. out. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think you passed the psych eval to be yeah. to be here. Yeah, I'm telling you. There's, obviously, there's fucking crazy people out there. Right. There's thousands of cops. There's going to be one or two that are... Well, maybe more than one or two. But You're going to get those fucking retards that you are... You are going to get the, the select few, but... Yeah. I would say 98%. Yeah. Hopefully 99 are. But there's been, even before all this shit came out with, um, um, what do you call it? Like police reform and everything. All the shit that they said for police reform, we were doing anyway. Right. You see what I'm saying? We were doing all that shit anyway. So it so wasn't it was, anything new to us. Nope. Already and in the books. There's been plenty of people that were <clears throat> let go because... They started the show like a uh, aggressive personality for no reason. They didn't do anything, but in order to nip it in the bud, I'm like you know what, maybe this job isn't for I'm you. Sorry, you gotta go. 
So they were like our people were definitely on top of shit like that. Yeah. So that's the one thing I'll give it to the place. Other than that, they don't respect the seniority of the old guys. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, for real. <laughs> but for real. <laughs> wow. You know, wow, maybe, wow. maybe I just want to sit inside and do nothing. Yeah, not not today. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to fucking talk to OSHA. Not tomorrow Is that either. an OSHA thing? Is that OSHA? Uh, that, no. CIA? I don't think OSHA? so. OSHA? No. FBI? I don't think so. Food and Drug Administration? <laughs> <laughs> Who will help me? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so that was right by the area you were at. And uh, I was like, maybe you should just probably go home. And maybe time to get your kids yeah. and get the hell out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. And why did you come here to begin with? <laughs> Let me see. Um, what else did I want to say? You know, I have, since we started late, because you like to drink. Oh, it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's my fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. I mean, you were lot. the one that said, I think, I think we got to make a second one. <laughs> I did. Oh, wait. We and need I'll a refill. post a picture. We need, <laughs> we need a refill because. How many cups do you have? Holy shit. I Stand by. I'm confused as to what's Holy going. fuck, dude. Hold on. Put it over here. We'll do a group photo. Hold on. <laughs> Just taking pictures for the uh, gram here. Doing it for the gram. Doing it for gram. So we have <laughs> one. You have two in your hand right now with two straws. <laughs> then you have. <laughs> so you have four. Three. <laughs> Holy fuck. Well. Well, this show's going nowhere today. Happy. <laughs> we fucking drank too much. Happy Monday. So. It's, it's really our almost Friday, but happy Monday yeah. for all of you listeners. Happy Monday, even though this is Thursday. Um, <laughs> so, Digga goes to drop off a little chunk. My oh, brother in law. My brother in law. Holy Love. fuck. My bro- he's actually my brother. <laughs> wow. Wow. So. <laughs> She goes to drop him off at like six. I six got here o'clock. Six. That's right. And uh, she comes back around eight. Around and we that still time. didn't start. Nope. She was like, uh, "You you really didn't start yet?" We're like, "Nope." No. <laughs> She's then, like, "You're kidding." I was like, "No, we really actually didn't." Then we got caught up in some podcast surfing. <laughs> Started talking uh, stuff my, my about. Bad. Yep, that's not bad, you know, and uh, now we're doing this. And here we are. Would you like to say hi? Hi. Hi, right, good. We're home. Um, yeah, so now we're here. Uh, ooh, speaking about my brother. Yes. All right. You have a, you have a brother, right? You're I older. have two. They're both older. Yep. All right. And you're an Italian descent, correct? Yep, correct. Okay. Well, I'll stand by. Got an itch on my nose. I want to drink real quick. <laughs> mm. Okay. So, being from Italian descent. Yep. And I'm the youngest and the only girl. But you're so a you. female, so they might not have had this conversation with you. Hmm. Oh, God. All right. So, we're not the, the tallest. Conversation. Oh. Yeah. God damn it. Go ahead. We're not, not the tallest. I'm not going to have a. Well, would you have a. No, sex? we're the tallest. <laughs> Ignore what I just said. <laughs> Is it is it about anal? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> damn it, Edge. <laughs> God damn it, Edge. You say Fucking it once, Edge. You say it once a show. <laughs> so, all right. So here we go. So your thought was this was like some anal sex No. no. Uh thing I was gonna talk about. I mean no. <laughs> now let now let let me tell you exactly what it was gonna be. It's totally opposite. About height. We're going to talk about the well, length of your head <laughs> on your body. Uh. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So I'm going to start this over. What the fuck was I talking about? All right. Damn. We can't drink this much before we have the fuck. <laughs> My back. <laughs> All right. So anyway, so my brother was saying, since we're Italian, we're not the tallest motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I don't think your brother would have had this conversation with you. Probably had with the older brother. Probably had it with your younger brother. So then, 
Well, they're both older than me, but I get what you're, I yeah. get what you're saying. I'm so, picking up what you're bringing down. But <laughs> bringing down. Oh, this is we're fucked. <laughs> we're gonna call this the drunk show. <laughs> we're picking up what you're putting. Down. <laughs> so, uh, oh, fuck. I might, I might be an Uber. <laughs> All right. So anyway, so um, so he goes, Frank. Listen, we're not the tallest people. Okay. So before your friends get taller than you, you need to beat them up. Oh. So I was like, all right. That's aggressive. So I remember it was a, uh, I'm not going to say the last names, but it was uh, a dude, Clarence, <laughs> who passed away, rest in peace. Oh. Yep. Rest in peace. And Janelle. Right? I was good friends with these people when we were younger in <laughs> middle school. So he's like, you know what? Your friends are going to get taller than you. You have to establish dominance. You have to fight them. And beat the shit out of them. So this way, when you get older. They respect you. They respect you. Yes. Woof. My brother could say no all day long. But I remember we were standing next to his Emerson radio. Yep. <laughs> with his little turntable. He was playing rock bass and easy rock on the record player. Oh my goodness. I remember this. Or it could have been Run DMC, one of those things. But that's how much I remember. So I invited them over. And as soon as they got in, punched to the face, each one. And then I got in trouble. But, yep. Holy shit. I said, yo, listen. I was like, John, what up? He's like, hey, what's up? I said, boom, smack to the face. Just one? Then I grabbed, then I grabbed Clarence, threw his ass to the ground, and did like some kind of wrestling move on his ass. And he's like, "Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing what this to me?" I was like, "My brother told me that you're gonna get taller than me, so I have to beat the shit out of you now. So you have to respect me when I get older." Oh my! And God. then my mom came down, and I got in trouble. Uh oh. Your brother, you, nobody ever did that to you. No. Huh. There you go. <laughs> nope. Yeah, yeah, they said that. So, were you still friends with them after that? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Were they like, oh, it's okay, it's all good? Mm-hmm. Well, I established dominance. So it worked. It kind of did work. Okay. But then they got a lot taller than I did. <laughs> they got bigger. <laughs> they got taller. But they were still like, damn, you're fucking, there's something wrong with you. So, Or I, they might have been scared of my brother. I don't know. That's so funny. Yeah, that's a true story. Hey. True story. The, Ita- the Italian descent. We're very aggressive people. Did you know that? That's for sure. I'd um, agree with that. Yeah, I would say so. We I'd go from zero that. to a hundred, but not like Real quick. really oh. bad. Bad. We'll talk more shit before we start throwing hands. I think you have to like really give her. Well, not in that situation, but yeah, we have. It? Where's my pen? But yeah, we have to go like we have to go like pretty crazy. Or it's got to be really bad before we fucking start. Escalate. Yeah. Like, for me, I have to be really provoked to yeah. unleash. <laughs> if that what, makes sense. What was that karate movie just did? <laughs> hey What's up? I have to be really provoked to really get physical, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think so for me, too. Dega, what, what are your thoughts? But then, like, it's like one. <laughs> cool. Once, good shake your head. One. <laughs> Once you see red, it's like oh, okay. Like, yeah. Now someone has to like hold me back, kind of like it's. Yeah. I snap to a point where it's not probably the healthiest, but it takes me a while to get to that point. Yeah, so I, guess I mean it, that's I probably guess it's normal. War- it's warranted. Yeah. At that point, it'll be their fucking fault. And then, right. You know what's fucked up? So, so I'm a nice person. I joke around a lot. Yeah. But then I think people <clears throat> take that. Hold on. Ugh. <sighs> So I think uh, here it goes. So I think that uh, people take kindness for weakness. Oh yeah, Definitely. I feel that way about me all yeah. the time. So I'm very nice to people. They could say no all they want, but I really am. And then when people see that you're nice, they're like, "Oh, I could take advantage of the motherfucker." Yeah. Then what I really can't stand is they get disrespectful. Then it gets to, you. to the point where And then I yell at them and tell them to go fuck their mother, go fuck themselves, and I hope that you find your fucking whatever. I say bad, bad things. Right. Right? So I say bad things to them, and then all of a sudden now I'm the fucking bad guy. 
No. But you were the one being a dick the whole fucking time. The whole time. It's just and, once you, like, speak yep. up, speak back. So they're like, they take your kindness for weakness, then all of a sudden you blow up on them. Yeah. And now you're the fucking bad guy. Now you're the bad guy. But no, that's wrong. Yeah, it is fucked up. It happens yeah. to me all the time. Those are the people that have, like, they say all bark, no bite. Mm-hmm. Like, they, mm-hmm. like want to act like they're tough and then you say one thing and they back down yeah then all of a sudden oh fuck i'm not gonna fuck fuck with this dude yeah then they apologize and i'm like you know what too late too little too yeah late. i would say but then maybe the next day i'll be like you know what that's fine we'll, leave. well it depends down. though you have to reflect and think about it it depends uh let me think well because i've known a lot of people that probably they, different situations they fucking they get out of hand, and then you blow up on them. And I won't talk to them forever. Like fuck it. Like that's it. Cut off. That's a bad flaw that I, a bad thing that I have. I don't know if it's trade or whatever it is. That let's say I'm friends with somebody for fucking ten years, yep. and they fuck around, and it'd be their fault. It wouldn't be my fault. Fuck around, you find out. Yeah, and then I'm just like, you know what? I'm not talking to you anymore. I, I feel like I, I could go either way. Like I. I could cut you off and not talk to you ever again, but I feel like if you apologize, if I am one to like, and, it, and it, I always accept an apology, so I'll like forgive, but I never forget. So maybe like, yeah, you apologize, okay, and maybe like, I should or shouldn't accept the apology, fine, but like I do, I'll always accept it, and then I'll keep you, but I'm gonna keep you at an arm's length. No, yeah. You know what I mean? It's never going to be the same. Right. The trust is over. The trust is done. You burned that bridge. I'm going to... I I, I wouldn't call it spiteful, but I I guess it's just always in the back of my mind. Oh, yeah. But I wouldn't even give them the chance to even talk to me to say... To even say sorry. Yeah. Like, now we're done talking. I remember there was... It would have to be really, really bad for me to do that. Yeah. I remember there was an incident. Oh, something happened where... uh, uh, a friend I'm trying to think I'm trying to say this without saying it uh, I'm gonna help you out something happened she knows you know what I'm talking about probably so anyway so, alright so something happened where uh, something of mine went missing right um, I got into an argument with one friend over it because they lost it Stole then something no, it just went missing. It really did just go missing. Oh. But they were they had responsibility over it and blah blah blah. So we got into an argument, whatever. Then I yelled at the other friend and blah blah blah. And so I yelled at friend B. So friend A was behind was there and his girlfriend was there and he was like at the time his girlfriend was there and he's like, You know what? You were you shouldn't have yelled like that and this, this and that. And it was very disrespectful to my girlfriend and whatever. So I'll um, have a nice life. We're done talking. And I known this dude forever. See, I'm like, in that case, I'd be like, okay, bye. So like, that's, that's what stu- I was. That's stupid. So that's I was like, just stupid. So I was like, okay, whatever. Cut off. Right. Right. <laughs> so then there's really no like fixing that. a year or two later, we're at a wedding <laughs> and this dude taps me on the back to like a, Shake hands. Let's, yeah. And I, I told her, I said, if you ever fucking touch me, I'll kick the shit out of you and Good. put you in the fucking water. Like, fuck you, fuck off. And yeah. He's staring at me. You remember that? Yep. I said, don't you ever touch me, you motherfucker. There's right. a whole bunch of people here. That's why I didn't beat the shit out of you. know, I was just like, mad. we're done. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then. Because he cut you off for no reason. So that's a different, like, that's just. Yeah, now you're going to touch me. Yeah, oh, yeah. No. And then uh, he's looking at me with a dumb fucking face. So then, fast forward a little bit more. I was like, well, fuck it. I'll leave it alone. Whatever. It is what it is. So I started talking to the dude and stuff. And then we we talk back and forth, but it's never, it's not the same. It's not going to be the same. No, it's not. Because the trust is gone because we were both, we were friends before. But now all of a sudden, over this bitch that you're not even with anymore. Oh, they're not even together. Hell no. You dogged me and fucking, and it had nothing to do with you. Oh, that's crazy. And you're like, have a nice life. See you later. Just I'm ready to cut you off. Yeah, so. cut me off. So I was like, peace no, out. I'll, then I'll cut you off. Mm-hmm. Right. And he, don't, he doesn't live that far from me either. Really? 
Yeah, we could be hanging out. Maybe one day I'll give him a call. I think I might. He's a good dude. Yeah. He really is. But I think he was thinking with his penis. That happens a lot. You know what I mean? It might have been a little pussy whipped. Oh, it's a real thing. If you're ever listening to this, you were Percy whipped. Percy? Percy? How do you spell Percy? Pussy. Pussy. I said, it's just fucking things you made me drink. <laughs> I, I did nothing wrong here. Fucking shit. Yeah. So, that was my story. Well, I I mean, I guess I hope you fix that. <laughs> I don't really give a fuck, I guess. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know how we started talking about this miss, shit anyway. If you miss him. I don't really miss him. No? No. I think you go through phases in life mm-hmm. where you just, I mean, people, I don't want to say outgrow each other. But yeah, people you, outgrow people. You go out, you go, you go your different ways and that's fine. Like yeah. there's not always a falling out. You just kind of fall out without having a falling out. If yeah. That makes sense. You know what's weird? Like, do you ever think when you're talking to somebody, I'm not saying death or anything, Mm -hmm. but when you talk to like a friend, like that's the last time you're going to fucking talk to that person. Not because they died. Oh, like God forbid, like you fucking pissed me off and I never talked to you. No, or just like you just don't. That's it. You cut ties without even cutting ties. Oh, it's a crazy thing. Think Think about about some of your friends that you've used to hang out with. Mm Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden you talk, I'm like, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden a week goes by, two weeks go by, fucking months by. go by, a year goes by, and you haven't fucking talked to me. Isn't that weird? It is weird. It is weird. I'm not saying they died or something fucked up happened. No, I, I think just like life. Yeah, life, life goes happens. on. Yeah. yeah. I think if we smoked weed, this conversation would be even deeper than it is. Oh, with I could get very deep. Yeah. I just, yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> 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 but yeah did you ever think about that shit the last time you fucking yeah cause even like if you think about your like I have like very good friends from even high school that nothing ever happened for us to not talk but we just don't talk mm-hmm. like like it, like there's no reason but it just like the last time you guys fucking maybe went to a bonfire and touched it, each other or whatever you guys did yeah, it's just and all like, of a sudden now you're not doing it no more now life just <laughs> Now it just moves on. Life happens. Yep. And now you're, I mean, no harm, no foul, but just. That's crazy, right? Yeah, it is crazy. Damn. I wish I could smoke weed. I never smoked weed before. Did you? Yes. What does it feel like? It's amazing. I only do it once a year around 4th of July. That's it? (laughs) I'm patriotic. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It's like my once a year (laughs) thing. And I love it. I, I actually really enjoy it. I sleep great. What do you put in your weed? Dad, it's just normal weed. I don't. Fentanyl. I don't, no. Fucking <laughs> Christ. Opiates. <laughs> no. I get it from a trustworthy source, and no I have shit. them roll it because I don't prefer the bowl. I prefer a blunt, and I have them roll it, and I smoke it, and it's great. And it's, it's on, usually around Fourth of July. So, speaking of rolling, so we're in we were in Jamaica, and I don't remember who the couple and was. And I just want. For the Go record, ahead. that's the one and only drug I've ever done in my entire life. That's good. I can't put anything up my nose. Not my style. Definitely no needles. Just, I mean, just. I haven't uh, done any drugs. Uh, nope. I'll just smoke weed and, and once a year. and that's, I, I never even smoke weed. That's crazy to me. Fucked up, right? No, I mean, no, it's great. I just. When I went for my. That's uh, great. That's a good thing. <laughs> nobody believed me when I went through the 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 steps to Your be poly? a cop. Oh, yeah. All the poly. <laughs> You're like, you fucking failed. He's like, you're a liar. I'm like, <laughs> I swear to God, I never did. I wish I did, but I just didn't. I was too busy working. I didn't oh, have time. Yeah. No, I would only do it well, once a year. When I was younger, maybe like, the, I don't know. So do you know how to roll it? Easy. No, I would get it from someone else. <laughs> nope. It seems difficult. It's like an, There's like an art to it. Hmm. And I just, I'm, I just don't have that talent. But When I retire, I'm smoking mad weed. Oh, I'll smoke with you, but well, once a year. But I got to get it from like a reputable source because yeah, my no, shit will probably have, my shit will be laced with something and no. I'll just die right away. No. Be fucked up. I have reliable sources. Yeah. It'd be fun. It is fun. So I do get the munchies and I have the best sleep of my life. Like best sleep ever. Some people like it like tweaks them out and they can't handle it. But for me, 
I get the munchies. I have a good conversation. I get the giggles, the squinty eyes, and I, I have the best Compared sleep to of my life. Alcohol, what's what's is there a difference, or does it feel like you just drank a lot? I guess I guess it's different. Like it, it kind of depends on what kind of alcohol I'm drinking, what I'm doing. Like yeah. I could have I could have a glass of wine and just be like sleep like low key sleeping out. on the couch, or I could be drinking margaritas and be ready to rage. <laughs> I, could ha- I could have some vodka but with what about you we- and just so be weed sitting is down just talking. Chilling. Weed is just chilling, but like you're gonna have like deep conversations, but you might also have the giggles. But oh, does the conversation make sense? Yeah. I always had the best conversations. That you think. Well, I think they're right. Yeah. So speaking of rolling, when we were in Jamaica, we went with like, let's say 30 people. And I don't even know who the couple was. But, okay. So I guess, obviously, it's legal there or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So this couple met another couple at the resort. So the... Yeah, so we're going to go couple A would be our friends. Couple B would be the strangers that they met. Yep. So couple A met couple B. Couple B goes to couple A. A, they say, take our, you could have whatever weed we have. We have leftover weed. We're not going to go on the plane. I mean, we can't go on a plane with this shit. You know, we can't bring it back. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they gave them, I guess, a lot of weed. <laughs> right? Yep. So... She's couple A. They're both trying to roll this shit. Oh my god! So I'm at I'm in the beach, like actually in the water, and I'm looking, and I see her like bent over, like in her fingers, like rolling something. I'm like, to what roll. the fuck is she doing? And I just see what I know now is weed. Yep, is fucking floating through the air. It was, it was so windy out. It was just blowing everywhere. She had maybe a speck of weed in this fucking blunt thing. By the time she was out, she was like, oh, the weed blew away. I have fucking nothing left. <laughs> I don't know how to do this shit. I said, why didn't you no. ask somebody to do it for you? I don't know. It felt stupid. So let's say she had, I don't know, a dime bag or more. Yep. Probably maybe two dime bags, probably. Yep. Was left with a fucking two pubic hairs worth of fucking weed. <laughs> and she oh still lit God. it. And it was like, fuck it, I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to work it out. Yeah. So she pretty much smoked paper. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> mm. But as soon as you get off the fucking plane, Jamaica, you smell that shit. Oh. You ever go to Jamaica? Never. Yeah. I'd like to go. It's funny. As soon as you get off the plane, you're like, they're like, weed, weed. It smells so good, too. Some of it. it. Some of it. You could tell. All right. Even though I never smoked it, but I've been around a lot from work, you could tell what's good and what's not good. Oh, you could tell quality. Oh, yeah. That shit is fucking (laughs) potent. You could definitely tell quality. Yep. And. You know, they have the lockers kind of like in the hallway. Well, not in the hallways. They're not like exit accessible to everybody. But I guess, you know, where they have the um, evidence lockers. Yep. So let's say we have evidence. We could put in this locker and it's secured, but we have to have access to it. And then once it gets locked, nobody has access to it and blah, blah, blah. But if you put weed in there or the drug lockers, shit. (laughs) Shit. You get hungry as a motherfucker. Like, yo, I want Doritos, motherfucking (laughs) Funyuns. I love Funyuns. Funyuns are the best. They're so good. Funyuns and onion rings. Well, this is the same shit. Kind of. I feel like there's not many people that agree with me on the Funyun topic, so I'm happy to share this with you. (laughs) Okay. Let's see what's going on. Do you like Funyuns or onion rings? Funyuns. They're thicker. Yeah. Oh, I so I'm weird. Like I love onions, but I don't love cooked onions. So for onion rings for me, like I actually mm. will eat the crispy part and pull the onion out and like throw it to the side. Really? Oh, it's super weird. You don't like but... sauteed onions? No. Oh. See, I'm opposite. Nope. I like onions in like a salad or like on a sandwich, like cold raw onions. I mean, I'll have if they have regular onions in this in the hamburger, I'll eat it. 
if they're not like sauteed. That's how I like, I like the little it. crunch mm. a little bit. I like the yeah. But the taste is better when they're sauteed. Mm. She. No, I disagree. Dang. We we can agree to disagree. But I think that I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, fine. Like fine. we went to uh, where's the last time we went to the kitchen? So we went there and they, so I put onions on, but they put a shit ton on there. It like was fucking delicious. Much. Oh, good. No, I scraped some off, but it was like sauteed really good. Was it on a burger or? On a burger, yeah. Oh. It was fucking good. I'm fucking starving now. Mm. Um, Let's see what else we got on here. Did you see, all right. Did you see, this, this has, all right, there's a guy. Who gets attacked by a raccoon? He's holding his his kid. No. What's that? Is that it? No. What's this? Oh shit! Breaking news. Uh oh. Hold on. Hold on. Stand by, everybody. We're a little unorganized, disorganized here because um, alcohol abuse. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the X on this bitch? Do you see an X? Uh, the red. Close. To the left to the left. All right. Hold on. Um. All right. Cool. Well, fuck it. I can't find it. Anyway, breaking news. Beep, 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 beep. So, yep. So, Digga hands me something from the gram. From Fox News, okay, it's a second whistleblower who accused Boeing of ignoring safety flaws dies. Yo, they're killing these motherfuckers off. Holy shit. Holy shit. The 44-year-old. 44? Um, yeah. <laughs> Sudden illness. Okay, motherfucker. Lies. <laughs> That's fake news. Yeah, hell yeah. The 44-year-old died making him the second Boeing whistle pl- uh, whistleblower to die in the past two months as the company faces intense scrutiny. Uh, his family's heartbreaking statement at the link of the bio. Fuck. Hey, find a link in the bio, please. Find a link in the bio. Dude, they're killing these motherfuckers off. Holy shit. Jesus. You know what? It's going to come out that... That uh, they're killing these motherfuckers off. I'm telling you. Oh, gonna, they definitely are. It's going to come out, and then all of a sudden, they're going to kill each other and kill themselves. And it's a blah, whole blah, thing. Blah. Let's see. Uh, I just want to find them real quick. I got this and another thing to go over, and then... Uh, we'll and wrap we'll, it up. And we'll wrap it up. Second, whistle. Whistle. Soul. Blower. Lord. Okay, let's see. Oh, here we go. A Boeing whistleblower who alleged spirit leadership had ignored manufacturing defects on the 737 MAX has suddenly died. This is the second Boeing whistleblower to have died in the last two months as the company... Oh, you fucking jerk. Bastards, we got a lot of news. God damn it. Sorry. Days in makes every winning moment... So I'm going to mute this while we uh, skip this uh, commercial here because... Commercial break? Digga hit the wrong button as she's leaning on the uh, console here. It's Digga's fault. At supplier no. Spirit Aerosystems, died Tuesday at just 45 years old from a fast-spreading infection. Dina had previously filed a complaint with the Federal Aviation Administration alleging there was, quote, serious and gross misconduct by senior quality management of the 737 production line. Dean was laid off last year and filed a complaint with the Department of Labor alleging that his termination was retaliation for raising concerns about the company's manufacturing. He was injected by something probably when he was sleeping. Like that shit you see on TV. <laughs> Fuck yeah. This you motherfucker. Can tell by his eyes. Fuck yeah. Yeah. The news comes as journalist and activist Cory Doctorow reports that in a non union shop in Charleston, South Carolina, where Boeing 787 Dreamliner is manufactured, there's a cage full of defective parts that have been pulled from production because they are not airworthy. 
Doctorow reports that hundreds of those parts were secretly pulled from that cage and installed on operating aircraft. Mm, and other damn airline news lawmakers advanced a bill that could undermine Biden's promise of automatic refunds on ah fuck I guess that's over so I don't give a fuck they don't care too much about him yeah the other guy shot himself 14 times in the head and now Holy this guy all of a sudden shit. has a fucking he's 44 years old has a fast spreading illness yep nope. I guarantee that motherfucker went to fucking I almost said one of the popular places we eat but he didn't go there but he went to fucking <laughs> he uh, died <laughs> in the Can you imagine if I just said like Right in the same space Where the other person is Yeah so, But anyway This guy went to fucking Super restaurant In his area And uh Never came They back. fucking put a little sprinkle of fucking Super juice in there And now he's dead Yeah That's insane I wonder what's gonna come out With all these people Listen They're killing these motherfuckers for a reason Mm-hmm you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, they're fucking... They're fucked. This is fun. This is fun. This is like a movie. This like, is crazy. Delayed flights. According to new reporting by The Lever, so be for context, the Biden administration announced a new rule last week that promised if airlines okay. cancel... Okay, well, I hit the wrong delayed. button. Anyway, I don't care about that. We talked about that last time, how they're talking about the, uh, the, the refund or whatever. They're going to give them cash or checks or whatever the bullshit... So anyway, yeah, so another whistleblower dead. Um, Shocker. Yep, he uh, got some crazy illness. I don't know where he's 44 fucking years old and uh, had a fast-spreading illness as he used the toilet in his own bathroom. So I guarantee when he was fucking sleeping. They snuck in and and they, like, poisoned him. All in black, right? Mm Mm-hmm. He was probably sleeping on his stomach because you have to inject this between the asshole and the balls, the grundle area. So definitely. And it's got to be a three-inch needle. So he was definitely... So what you have to do is you need two people to do this. This is a two-man job. This is definitely a two-man job. So once you break through the perimeter and you're inside... So now you broke through everything. You're all dressed in black. You have a mask on and everything. One guy... So what you do is... One guy's got the dart, like a blowgun. Goes, yeah. <laughs> you need two. You need one behind the left ear and one in the juggler. Okay? So, <laughs> so now you just sit still. You sit still. You wait. His butt cheek twiv- uh, twitches. It's quivering. So once it quivers, but once it stops quivering, you're ready to go because that's the last nerve ending that your brain is sending signal to. See what I'm saying? So it's going like this. So once that stops, now team two comes in. You get one dude on left leg, one dude on right leg. You have to spread them about 18 inches apart. If you do any further, the muscle tendons go too far and it doesn't take in the bacteria that right. you're injecting between the grundle with a three inch needle. But anyway, I don't want to get too deep into this, but that's what they do. <laughs> but that's exactly how they do it. That's what they do. So I'm homeboy just... was sleeping, didn't like the fucking door and didn't turn the alarm on. They got inside, injected him with some AIDS needle Shit. and now allegedly killed God him. Forbid. Yeah. Yep. I, I, like rest in peace. Well, he's fucking done. Holy shit. So, in my next career, when I retire, I'm not working for Boeing. You go fuck yourself. Or or what do we got? We got fucking uh, Sikorsky's. Fuck them, too. I ain't doing that shit. Don't offer me a job. Because I'll be like a security guard and walk into right. a fucking meeting. I'm like, fuck, I just fucked myself. <laughs> I'd hear him talking about, we're going to use all use. Per- Who's this guy just walked into oh, our meeting? Brand new rookie. And then you hear. <laughs> nope. I'll wear a chassis belt. You ain't get to my grundle over that AIDS needle. <laughs> and then right. Diddy walks in the room. Diddy walks in the room. He's like, yeah, I got this good. I got it. Mm, t- t- mm, t- mm, t- I'll uh, bam uh, off. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. So real quick. And then and then we're going to wrap it up. So it's a uh, guy. Hold on. This guy gets attacked by a raccoon. Oh, shit. 
Um, uh, I need somebody. We need somebody to fucking do all this shit for us. Oh, we gotta hire someone. Right, right, cool. Okay. Um. Okay, here we go. Got it. Ooh, that's not it. That's not it. Is this it? No, that's not it. So this one is actually incredible deals and explore them. So anyway, they show a video of uh, this is the mom. Holy shit! See the raccoon attacking. Oh my god! What does mom do? Picks it up. So it's biting her. Wham! She's about to throw that motherfucker. It's not going. It won't let go. It's a rabid raccoon. But it won't let go of her. So the rac the the child was walking up to the front door. The raccoon comes out of nowhere, starts biting the the child's leg. The mother comes out, rips the the, the um, raccoon off the leg, and she. Whips that shit across the fucking yard. Okay. Holy now, shit. I need to find the difference between the mom and the dad <laughs> in this day and age. Oh, God. It's. Where was that? That one, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where that one was. So we're going to see. Oh, come on. It fucking figures. Anyway. So, you you saw that one, right? Yeah. So, that's the mother. Right. So, the kid's getting attacked by a raccoon. Fucking the lady. Comes out. Pretty much piece of shit out of the raccoon. Throws it. Chucks this it. fucking guy, and I can't find the video. It fucking figures. So, he's holding his... It's almost the same scenario. So, the kids... So, you have a front door with the little walkway, you know, to the little porch and two steps down. Right. right? So he picks up his kid, and in the background, you know, he's facing his kid. Um, he's picking the kid up off the porch. In the background, you see a raccoon. So the ra- he's got the kid in his hands. <laughs> and what happens is the raccoon starts biting his leg. He oh, fucking shit. slant. He throws his kid to the fucking ground. He's like, I'm being attacked by a raccoon. I'm being attacked by a raccoon. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And he's fucking screaming and throws his fucking kid to the oh, ground. The kid starts fucking crying because he just got body slammed. Holy oh, shit. I can't believe I can't find the fucking video. But that just shows the difference in, uh, I would say, generational men. <laughs> yep. You know what I mean? I would never. No. Fu- it's not that bad. You're getting bit. You're not going to die. The thing's not going to fucking kill you. It's just a raccoon. And he throws his fucking kid there. But in another video, you have a a, uh, a female who pretty much rips this thing off off their child, gets bit, and then smashes the fucking raccoon. See? All right. Oh, did you ever see this video? And then we'll stop. Jeremy <laughs> Shepard. Did you ever see this one? No. All right. So this one, I love when watching animals save people. So you see the dog here? Yeah. What we're watching, audience... Is a it probably looks like what did you say five years old? Yeah, I don't have kids, so it's like Enzo, four or five. Yeah, so four or five. There's a light colored German Shepherd that they must own. It's a family dog, and they're playing in their front yard. Okay, the little kids running around, blah blah blah. The uh, dog's right behind them. You can see the dog prancing and stuff. You know, flopping its front feet, and he's having fun with his little brother. The dog's having fun with his human brother. You know, five year old. Okay, watch this shit. Another dog comes running at the child. Oh Oh my god. It literally jumped in front of it. Yep, that dog went from... Okay, so here's what happened for the audience. The child is, is running in the front yard... 
A dog comes across the street charging at the child about to attack it. His dog goes from floppy feet, having fun. This is awesome. I'm with my human to fucking 100 percent. I'm going to kill this motherfucker. Attack mode. Yeah, to attack mode, that's going to try to kill my little uh, my my little human. It's like protection. Holy shit. Watch protection this. Time. Protection Now watch the whole video. And then they must have another dog, so it starts a pack mentality. <laughs> Now their other, <laughs> the other dog comes out. sees him fucking around, and they start, oh, he fucked this dog up. You could literally, like, yep. <laughs> Actually, like, jumped over the kid. Look at that. All the, so it goes, what gets me is awesome. that that dog goes from, watch it flopping around. See the yep. front paws flopping. Like They're having, having so fun. much fun. He's probably, enjoying life. He's probably running after a ball or something. To hair going up, I'm going to kill this thing. Yep. In like two seconds. Watch this. I love dogs. Oh, yeah. Dog's coming at dog's coming at the kid. About to jump on the kid. Oh yeah. Literally trying to Holy trying shit. Trying to get the kid. That's a that's an angel. That's awesome. That is an angel. Save that baby. Save the baby. That's why dogs are awesome. They are awesome. Cats Even not though, so much. Fuck cats. Not a cat person. When I got bit by the cat, but we'll go into that next show. Oh, we should definitely talk yeah, about that. Yeah, when I was show. at work, I got fucking bit by a cat. A fucking piece of shit. <laughs> that was. So bit me for no fucking reason. <laughs> it was like the that funniest. Fucking cocksucker. I mean, it wasn't funny because I felt bad, but it, it was, was funny. It was, it was kind of funny. For, like, for, Yo. Like, kind of funny. The way we found out was funny. <laughs> that shit hurt like a motherfucker. <laughs> fucking bit me right in the cat for no fucking reason. <laughs> It's like rubbing up against me. And uh, and I'm like, the video was like, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking jerk. I was like, there's no way you got bit by a cat. Yep. Yeah. At work. So. All right. Well, this is a good one. Yeah, we'll find out. Uh, Wishing you all a great week. Yes. Um. Oh, oh, that's what I want to mention. We put out a uh, the best of so the bonus. So check show. that out. It's, it should be airing definitely by the time this is out. Yep. Go um, back and listen. It'll be, it should have aired on Friday. Yep. Um, we wanna... have a special guest next week. Oh, we do. Yep. We call him Big D. Big D's coming on the show. <coughs> um, yeah, so we got Big D. I don't know what he's going to talk about. He's very excited. I don't know why he's excited, but he's very excited. I don't know what he's going to talk about. And, uh, Stay tuned. So check out that uh, that best of show, and uh, we're out of here. All right. Have a good week, everyone. Peace out, motherfuckers. Bye. <laughs> Hello, my faithful listeners. I want you to know whether it's one of you or one million of you, the Not Surprised Podcast is dropping a show every Monday. If we're feeling stupid silly, we're going to drop a bonus show. You can listen to either show, all the shows, or whatever show you want on your favorite podcast platform or on YouTube. Thank you for listening and enjoy the rest of your day or night.